Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors, a D-Bad Krogall rendition, if you will, made by KHHI. Before we get there, guys, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Stats show that number is going down, but we've got a lot of work to do. Vets, the thing I want you to know more than anything is you have a place here. You're welcome here. We back to blue over here with Sport Leo. Hey, you do that, Scab? Well, we quit breaking the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So, first things first, right out of the rip. Yes, this looks like the XL Espada. That's because D-Bad was challenged to design a fixed blade XL Espada, and that's what he did. Now, he let me know right off the rip, Scab, this edge is for chopping. You can sharpen it up. You can do what you want, but it is for chopping. I said, to hell with that, we're chopping, okay? So here's the deal, guys. We're going to do the Donnie B all day drop test, Donnie B all day throw it at the stump test, the Donnie B all day stab the stump test. Listen, I love Donnie. Y'all know I do. He's my brother from another mother. He's trying to get to 10,000. Let's go over. Let's subscribe. Joe, steel forged and fire, sword and knife, another brother from another mother, my partner on Blade Talk with Scav and Joe, Go subscribe to him and go subscribe to Blade Talk with Scab and Joe. Speaking of which, guys, we had a scheduling conflict and just couldn't do it this morning. Monday, we've got Tactical Everyday Dad. Join us on Blade Talk with Scab and Joe for that. And my two very, very special shout outs until they get to a thousand Eric Hussein and Carl Ruger, two great channels, two deserving guys. Man, let's get them to a thousand. Now on to the Crow Gall which is Gaelic, I believe, for crocodile. Watch this. Taking big bites, son. A little slow-mo, a little editing by old scabber there at the haunted-ass church again. That's what calls people well. Now, I ain't even going there. I got to come back and finish up. Listen, guys, here's the deal. The blade steals 5160. The handles are rosewood. Supremely comfortable. Now, D-Bab put a chopping edge on this, and that's what this video is. That's what my wheelhouse is. Look at them things flying. I can't even speak. I'm so excited. Wood chops flying everywhere. Chunks, chops, the same damn thing. Now, this is an old, uh, it ain't a 4x4. Four four. It's one of them oval 4x4s. Four four a 4x4 four four oval. I don't know what the hell it is. It's pressure treated. Got Kira Soak on it. Hard as a brick bat. And watch the crow gall go through it. Son, like a crocodile. Big chops. Now, let me say this. This handle is insanely comfortable. You know I love purpose-built handles. D-Bad's one of my guys, top two, three, that I love because they take care of handles, and I'm talking about all-time designs, okay? The handle's where it's at. Now look, right there, we're just bringing it down. Let me say this to all of you and to D-Bad. One, Donnie, man, thank you for trusting me. with. This is a prototype, guys. This is the first one. This one means something to Donnie, and he sent it to me. And let me say this. When I'm, when I'm out here doing this stuff, I'm not trying to be disrespectful and slam it, okay? I'm not trying to tear up his stuff or his gear or disrespect his gear. I'm trying to show respect for his gear. It's hard use, tough built. And let me say this. Creehouse kicked it out of the park. Now, I've got 15 to 20, 15 to 20 videos of the Creehouse. Not one edge roll, nothing chip, nothing damage. I know people do and all this bullshit, but I'm sick and tired of hearing crap about the Cree house because you don't like Donnie. You don't like Donnie, you don't like it, all right? Plain and simple. But don't bash a company when you don't know what you're talking about. These guys knocked this out of the park. I've never had one chip. I've never had one roll. I've never had one damage. Never in 15 or 20. If you can hit harder than I can, good on you. I, and there's people out, plenty of people that can. But what I'm telling you guys is when I get these got when I get Donnie's prototype in hand, I go as hard as I can. Not to be disrespectful, but I'm supremely confident that I'm not going to break it because it's built well, it's built tough, it's done correctly. They make a beautiful piece. Have they have they had some failures in the past? Sure. Give me one company that have. It. I'm waiting. Tick tock, tick tock. You can't. They do a great job, 
And let me say this, the only issue I've ever had with Kukri House, because if we're going to praise them, we got to bring out the stuff they could improve on. The one thing that I would say I'd like to see them improve on overall is the overall sharpness. That's one thing I'd like to see them do a little better. Outside of that, guys, this thing is a beast, son. A beast swinging a beast. It, and I will say this, too. On this design, when he first mentioned it, when he first showed the drawings, I got to be honest with you, I didn't see it. I'm just going to be straight up, 100% honest. It's not that I doubted, not that I disbelieved, not that I didn't like it. I just couldn't see it in my head. And, I, and that's why I'll never be a knife designer, okay? Now, I might design something down the road, but it ain't going to be a knife. My point to you is this. When I seen it in hand, when I got it in hand, I'm a believer. It's a beautiful piece. Does it function? Did the edge hold up? This is that tree that fell yesterday. No, I didn't chop it down. Watch the damn video from yesterday, and you'll see that, that this one got struck by lightning. But that's a four and a half, five inch diameter tree. And look at the bites we're getting right here, son. We we hit a lot of twainage in this video. A lot of stuff went in twain. Now, if you turn off the noise, turn off all of the crap, turn off me hollering about stuff and all that, and just watch the knife work, you'd be impressed. Put on some heavy metal music, or hell, put on some Ava Maria. Put on whatever you listen to, Backstreet Boys, whatever your jam is, and just watch the knife work. It works. I say this every video. I'm a novice at best. At best. Now, I, I must be the luckiest novice in the world because everything I look, everything I review looks damn good, right? But I'm a novice, you know, whatever. Now, listen. On this knife journey, I am a novice, and I am learning. So when you learn, you're going to make mistakes. I've made mistakes. I've missed. I've, I've done wrong stuff with knives. I've done all that. But what I can tell you is this. This knife will make up for mis some mistakes. It's comfortable in hand. I don't believe it. You might see one or two deflections in here. I don't think so. I think this handle is built to where it will not come out of your hand as long as you get a correct grip on it. Now guys, it was 85 degrees here in Florida today. Heavy, heavy, heavy humidity. All right, the grip never slipped, never. And I like the fact that there's two different grips on this, two, three different, okay? For me, I use two, but right here, you're seeing this thing not only work as a chopper, but like a machete. Again, this was a tree that fell, it, it covered the path, so we use this like an axe, a hand axe. We use it like a machete. We use it like whatever we need the tool to do to get the job done. And again, watch as this thing goes. I don't think I've hit anything yet that wood chips didn't just fly everywhere, son. Great bites, great edge, no edge damage. And let me say this on edges, okay? Yesterday we seen some chipping. Yes, it was because the edge is too thin. I knew that. But you're never going to hear me say, give you a definitive, well, it did this because of this. I'm not an expert. I'm not going to be that guy on here, changing grips, that comes on and knows everything and is just an asshole. Just not doing it, okay? So, that's why I kind of posed the question, what did y'all think? Now, I truly believe it was a thinner edge. But that leads me to this, okay? If the heat treat is spot on, it can be fixed, it can be repaired. And it will do the job. I mentioned sharpness from KHHI. All right. With their heat treat and this being 5160 or 52100 or whatever steel they happen to use. They're old scab nimbly bimbly there. About ran through the creek. When their heat treat is spot on, guys, you can sharpen a knife up. No, you shouldn't have to. But every now and then you're going to have to. Okay. And I'll say this. The price point on Kukri House Makes it so, yeah, if you got to do a little work on it, you got to do a little work on it, but you're not spending two, three hundred dollars, okay? Now, right here, this is the only thing live that I cut down. Again, it was covering the trail. We got a lot of elderly folks at the church that walk down this trail trying to get it out of the way of them. And so we just go to work. I missed a couple times, luring the limb into a false sense of security. And then we just go to town, son. Again, through all of this, I was out there probably two, three hours. Cutting up all kind of stuff. My hands never got fatigued, guys. And right there, look at that. Bip, bip. We're using it here more machete style, cleaning it up. It did a great job. 
it did a good job on these palmettos right here, just kind of moved them out of the way. Now, right here, just did a little shaving, just some quick shaving down near the base of the blade. And again, guys, look at it fly. I mean, it just does a good job. But now we're going to do our, our test that I love very, very much. Hold it in hand and chop. I'd like to see some other people start doing that. That way I won't feel as dumb about saying it's my favorite test. So any knife reviewers out there, if y'all start doing this test, you can call it the scab, hold the log and chop test. It's got a nice ring to it. I sure as hell would appreciate it. Now, right here, guys, look at the bites. Look at the stuff flying. The knife works. But does it hold up? you damn right it holds up. All right? D-Bad profiled this edge for a chopper. That's smart. All right? When I get my preacher back, my boy Sean's got it. We got some things going on. Got some things working. When it gets back, DJ Horn had, had, had changed the whole profile. I can't wait to do a video on it. Guarantee it holds up, though. Bet you it does. Now, right here, this is one of the last, I think, clips that we do. We're going to put everything together. We're going to do like a machete slash chopper. We're going to chop our way down through the swamp there to that pine tree that's hit and fell over. All right? Now, I've said this many, many times. I'm a very courageous knife reviewer. Many knife reviewers wouldn't go down in the swamp. But, you know, I battled through. was courageous on my part. And, and somebody will take that seriously because that's, that's just one of them European guys will. Not my subscribers, but some dumbass. Now, right here, now you'll notice that I'm wearing Joe's shirt going through there. I got my handkerchief for my boy E. We're just riding it today. Today was a terrible day, guys. I'm just telling you, my car broke down. I was supposed to go to uh, a dinner with Greg Popolo tonight. Couldn't do it. So we just got out there and just wreaked havoc. That's one of them old Florida vines. Goes right through it, son. And right here in the middle of the swamp, we're going to cut palmettos. Old scab looking lean there, son. And let me say this about that sheath. That leather sheath, I love the color. I love that green and that black. Man, it's gorgeous. This, this whole package, this whole package is just an absolute home run. Again, we, I decided to do a couple different things with this. We're going to use a chopper. We're going to use a machete. You can drop your hand all the way down, and you've got a straight-up machete with plenty of reach. Now, I'm going to link D-Bad's video on the Krogall in the description because he's he gives all the specs about kill myself there again. A lesser reviewer probably wouldn't even went down there, old Scabber did. Now, right here, just watch this. Look at that, son. Just battling. Battling. I also didn't realize the damn thing was about rotten, about kill myself. But I'm going to link that thing. I, I just didn't have time for specs and all that. I don't have a tape measure on me. I don't have anything. If the, if the edge did screw up and I wanted to fix it and fool everybody, I couldn't because I'm at this haunted-ass church in the haunted-ass swamp just battling, son, braving it. Look at that. Again, again, I really about killed myself right here. Good Lord looking out for me. Now, guys, listen, we've got about a minute left, all right? The Krogall is fun. I'm going to do pocket knives. I'm going to do bushcraft knives. We're going to do the serious stuff for the serious knife guy. But I'll be damned if every now and then we're not just going to have something on here that is fun, it works, it's built well, and we support the guy, okay? That's just the way this channel is going to be. I'm going to wrap it up right here. I'm going to show you the, the edge. Listen to me, guys. I love y'all. Everybody, please check my description for all the folks in there that we shout out. Got a lot of guys in there I didn't shout out. Check them out. Give them a like. Give them a subscribe. And just check out the D-Bad Krogall from the Kukri House. Absolute home run. Scab, you killed it. Thank you, Scab. D-Bad, you killed it. Love y'all. God bless y'all. Mikey says it best. Everything's going to be okay. I'm scabbed. You're not. I'm gone, son.